Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Um, right, so uh, where to begin? So I've, I've been having a look at the, uh, uh, the different uh, hmm, spoilers is maybe the right word, maybe the wrong word, um, but little tidbits of information regarding the end game and knowing that there is an ending per faction and one for the Phoenix Project as a whole, um, I've been having a look at our, our different research as soon as you unlock one of the endings, it locks out all the others. And because we're looking to support the Disciples of Anu, um, it does mean that we need to kind of shift gears a little bit. So at the moment, we're researching the Virophage weapons, and then we've got the Ugothian entity. And after that, we pretty much need to shift to helping Anu with all of their research. That's what we're going to be focusing on. And everything that we've got in the research queue is long it it's going to take quite a while now with the various resources that we've picked up over the last couple of missions it's probably worth us actually building some more research places it seems like a really strange thing to say this late in the game i should have done it much earlier but without knowing how the story was going to play out i didn't really know what the different options were going to be so that's what we're going to get going right now now you may um, may notice that I'm not quite as articulate as normal. I am a couple of glasses of mead in already. Uh, funnily enough, today uh, was it yesterday? Um, the drunken heist actually uh, uh, published. Uh, it aired, and everyone seems to have really enjoyed that, uh, which is amazing. Um, that's not why I started drinking today. This was uh, just because I had a long day and thought, yeah, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna do that. And um, yeah, so I'm actually thinking that at some point in the future, not putting any form of time scale on it at all, it would be very interesting to do an entire drunken playthrough and see, firstly, if it's something that I can make work without horribly, horribly screwing everything up. Uh, and also if with the new balance changes it really makes that much of a difference uh, right so we just spent a whole bunch of our tech to get three research places on the go which is fine uh, we just need to do some trading and in order to do some trading probably here is going to be best so we're going to send the manticore straight back before it moves on We don't actually really need that much tech at the moment, but seeing as we have, uh, let's say, an excess, it kind of makes sense for us to do that. Uh, the Tiamat is on its way back right now. Uh, there's no easy tech options on the way, so they may as well just go straight back. And over here, the Helios, we do need to address this at some point. Oh, I hope I don't have to do that this episode. Right, let's start the exploration over here. Scan complete. Okay, virophage weapons. So we've produced designs and functional prototypes for a new set of virophage. See, th that, we've produced designs and functional prototypes. That's the kind of thing that, you know, you, you give a science lab like uh, an idea, say, hey, go away and see what you can come up with. And they don't just produce designs, but they actually build something and say, well, this this works, so, you know, we can just roll with it. Ah, right, so we've, we've produced designs and functional prototypes for a new set of virophage-based weapons, which will exclusively damage life forms that contain traces of the Pandora virus. Note this includes anyone who's undergone controlled mutations, such as Disciples of Anu. After extensive testing, the weapons are now ready to go into full production. So this is great! In fact, is it great? Yeah. If we were entirely pure, this would be amazing. Friendly fire would become not an issue. It's only a sniper rifle. And grenade. But, but even so, it's still kind of restrictive. Mm. Working with the anti-deluvian virophage has been challenging. It's almost as dangerous a weapon as the Pandora virus. Well, that's not good. 
And under any other circumstances, the only correct response would be to destroy it immediately. Any larger scale application constitutes a potential extinction event. Right. I mean, if you want to go for entirely eliminating everything on the world, then sure, that's something we can do. Okay, so in terms of research, the Yorgothian entity does make sense for the next thing. Ooh. Okay. We could trade tech for various things. We don't really need to do any of that. They've got an aircraft here, but we don't actually care about their aircraft. It, in my mind, the only thing that's worthwhile in terms of aircraft is getting two Heliuses. It, seriously, any game that you get, they move the fastest. They, they've got a slightly lesser range, so you know not so useful for long-range scanning. But get two of these, load them up with people, and you are golden. Right, where are we going to send you next? Probably down to one of these other ones. All this, of course, taking time off everything else. Jeez, those labs are going to be three days away. Uh, yeah, explore this. Uh, we're not going to make any of the virophage weapons. I'm, I'm very happy with what we have. Helios 4 are healed. How about Helios, Helios 2 are healed as well? Well, in that case, I think we're going to do a drunken lair. This is not a good idea. I should not be doing this, but we're going to go with it. Uh, you guys are going to rest up. Uh, you can actually carry on down here. We're not going to go with you. We're going to go with you. So let's just make sure that everyone is properly equipped. That's pretty much as good as you're going to get Kane. Get I, I really like Kane conceptually, but Kane just doesn't really do it for me. I'm thinking maybe we should uh, multi-class into something else, even if it's just Sniper for the Expert Marksman, but or, or Berserker maybe. But uh, it's important that I've tried going pure, but there's no benefit to going pure with with any of the classes as far as I can tell. Uh, you're not proficient, but in terms of equipment, let's make sure you're loaded up. We could give you an extra, actually. Nah. Over here. New How are you not proficient with the neural sniper rifle? Oh, wait. Has... Has this done a weird patch thing. Proficiency with sniper rifles, so we should be proficient. So in in the last episode I said that there was there was going to be a patch. It wasn't actually in the last episode like I thought it was going to be. Obviously it's in this one. Uh because that is potentially a problem. This, we were expecting this. That's not a problem for us. We're just going to roll with it. But, yeah, being not proficient with the neural sniper rifle. That is just annoying. You should have both of those. Okay, over here. Load you up. 32, 40. An entire extra gun. Do we want an entire extra gun? Yes, we do. We always want an extra gun. Uh, make it give you a little bit more strength. Jackson, use some of those many materials we've been getting. Oh, uh, I see what it is. Every time someone has a secondary, in this case it's assault, it's not counting the proficiency. Well, that's, that's going to be bloody rotten. How the hell did this make it through QA? We're going to run with it. 
it is going to be a train wreck. I'm wondering if it's even worth bringing this out. It probably is. Okay, if this goes horribly wrong, I reserve the right to reload the previous save once they've uh, fixed everything. But in the meantime, let's give it a go. <laughs> I definitely think I'm going to need more, more mead. Okay. Let me just pick the cat hair out of my mouth. So we've got one angry thing, we've got another angry thing. And we don't have much visibility at all. I think it's this thing over here, just because it's not giving me the uh, the plotting indicator. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're heading left, definitely. Now, heading left, see this, this is a little bit cheeky, having a look at where the, the various bits go. Can I go up a level and look for other ones up? Not really. So in terms of route, I don't want to get too close to this. So maybe coming around this, like this side and then that way. It's going to be the right way to get visibility on this. I really hope it actually counts the proficiency in game. Oh, that's yeah, that's that's proper around the houses, isn't it? Okay. Uh, who is going to be our best at actually seeing what's going on? Probably you, actually. I mean, you're. You're slow as it? No, you're too slow. Shotgun out. Well, you're super close and super dangerous. Moving to the yeah, <laughs> there's something else up there as well. Okay, all right, we we can we can make this work. He says, getting the big guns out. Uh, no, no, boom blast first. This is the danger of of drinking. None of my decisions are going to be tactically sound. Most of my decisions are going to be dubious at best. And the implementation has so much potential for it going badly wrong. We do have the uh, uh, the extra shred, I think, on the grenades, though. So there's that working for us. Ah, all right. You're you're not that much of a threat. You got pistol. We have lost some cover, but I'll take losing a tiny bit of cover. Look at that. Having having the shred makes such a difference. Grenades now do what grenades should do. They kill. All right. So, next up... If we do rapid clearance... 
And then we walk to here. We might be able to kill this one. Let's walk in first and we'll have a look at. Ready to engage. Is that the only bit that's visible? It really is. That's better. Definitely worth us doing rapid clearance. Because we'll get those five wall power back. Preparing to fire. In fact, you know what? We we can move closer. But it's not gonna be a better shot. We could dash in between the two of them actually. So, where can we see the one up on top from? Oh no. Explosive Chiron, I hadn't seen that. That's kind of bad. Okay, so we dash to here. We kill both of these. And then maybe we do something against this. Pushing on. Wait, why can we? Oh, because we destroyed its head. Ooh. Mind Crush would also kill it. Give us back five action points. Only costs us one. Oh, sorry, give us back five willpower. Yeah, that was definitely the right thing to do. We do another Mind Crush. We lose one willpower in total. We get another action point. And this thing's lost five. What? Oh, because his uh, his friend died. Of course. Can we can we get up next to you? No, you are out of our range. You might not be. We could dash, walk, and then get like a close range harrower right on your face. You'll probably just end up doing something really nasty to us. Can I tell what taking out your head would Ready do? To engage. Minus 20 willpower. Okay, so this is the stupid plan. We're going to take this. We're going to dash in. We're going to shoot it exactly in the head. Then we're going to mind control. We're going to dash in. We're going to walk. Hmm. We're going to dash in. We're going to walk up one and then shoot it in the head and then someone else can take it in. Mm. No time to lose. Hello, I would really like to kill your head. I would like someone else to kill your head actually. That's what I would like. Who else do I have that could come in and kill the head? Kane. Is this going to be the time when Kane actually really shines? <gasps> Rally the troops. It takes two action points. So if Kane can't get in a position to do the shot properly, Rally the troops would allow us to walk up and do the shot and then do the mind control. I knew there was a reason I took that skill. So, how does your shooting look like on this? It's not, it's not terrible. It's not brilliant. It's relaxing. So let's let it relax a little bit.
We only need to hit it three times out of six. Come on, just, just relax a teeny bit more. That'll do. Head gone. Oh my god, this might actually work. Is this not a valid target for mind control? Wait, it was supposed to lose 20... It was supposed to lose 20 willpower. It's lost 20 What's max willpower. I'm ready. Well, crap in a hat. That is not what I wanted. Not what I expected. I see them. So we're now in alternative um, plan mode. Which is try and cause as much damage to it as possible so that it, like, dies horribly. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, dash, dash, range shotgun. No time to lose. Seriously unhappy about this. I mean, this is, like, the, the worst case scenario. Do you have a proper... I'm so glad I have many, many guns. Right. That costs us nothing to swap over. Let's do that. Still on target. Still, we managed to shoot the shotgun once. You're done. I mean, we can we can still bomb it at this point. I think we've probably done enough that that will actually work. So let's let's check. Now the the reason I want to make sure that this is going to work, uh, we're going to need to boom blast. Uh, the the reason I want to make sure that this guy. Oh my god! Look at that. That is that is the worst. Is there any way you can get away? No. Um. Is they will absolutely murder. Uh, we're going to walk two spaces closer for this. Uh, they will absolutely murder you up close. They'll just launch all three right at your feet. And you'll be like, well, there's not a great deal I could have done about that. And there's always something you could do about it. Arch! You know what? As far as friendly fire goes, that is an acceptable hit. It's really sad, it's really tragic, of course, but I am okay with how it went. I really hope that's enough. How much health have you got left? 17 health, 20 bleed. Oh yeah. Right, so now that I've successfully dug myself out of the problem that I myself caused, let's carry on towards where we're actually supposed to be going. Yeah? This is why you should not drink in Phoenix Point, people. This, this, this here, this is like a life lesson. Do the results, don't do the actions. I think that's, that's the best we can do with it. Yeah, screw you. 
I forgot about this guy. I mean, he is much less of a threat. Don't you dare shoot my injured person. Seriously. You deserve that. So we're regening over here, which is good. We are still bleeding. So we're going to definitely... Definitely, definitely um, patch that up. Ooh. I'm honestly stumped what to do next. Oh yeah, wait, we're we're going over for this thing, aren't we? Yeah, so the, the patch has definitely dropped, so everyone on this mission is going to get at least 10 experience, which is great. Assault rifles are doing one shred, so they will eventually wear down anything that they're going up against. I'm wondering if it's worth kind of pulling across here. I don't care about the, the screaming tri-head things. I would love to get eyes on this so we can start positioning people properly. Although this particular one has no real nice lines compared to previous ones we've been on. I think we'll actually Spring send you in over here. Ah, oh, I love those legs. The animation leaves a little bit to be desired, but overall they're pretty baller. Let's go. Uh, right, you need to catch up. Everyone spent so much willpower already, and we've only had one turn. <laughs> But we've also had no deaths, and I consider that to be a good thing. Uh, I'll decide what you're doing in a moment. I just want to get Jackson forwards as well, because Jackson is feeling neglected at the back. I might walk Jackson forwards one space first, actually. Yeah, look at that. We can actually get you somewhere interesting. Well, we may as well move you up to just there. I'm hoping that they spent most of their resources on these three because we can't capture them. They're pretty useless as long as we avoid them. It's not terrible for us that they exist. Uh, let's pull you forwards right to here. Um, yeah, once again, Kid Afro is going to be stuck at the back. I need to get Kid Afro more speed. Like, when even the sniper is faster than you, you know that you're slow. I hope you're stranded. Here. So I think there was some sniping that kind of went on from over here. I'm hoping we can just ignore it. And it's not actually a thing. We know that there is a siren right there. But that siren's also not really doing much and I don't think it's maybe it's maybe got a way through there so as long as people stay together it should be okay heading out is there really no way through this here goes Well, it kind of is now. Sure, let's get you to there. 
I'd like anyone to, yeah, just notice the big ass thing right there. Moving out. That works. We can get in there. Let's do a dash. And a walk and we'll start the process off with a harrower. Yeah, right on the shell. Make it so that every shot will hurt it. Where are we going to move you? We're going to bring you around this way. So dash on in. Don't get shot again, please. That's not going to block anyone. Cool. Jump jets over here. That works well. We're going to try and finish this relatively quickly. Hopefully with no friendly fire. I mean, that that's like, obviously, the dream. The dream is no friendly fire ever, but... We'll see what the game actually ends up uh, making us do. Oh, you can run on in, do that. Not being very useful, but we didn't start with a load of things next to us to paralyze, so it's kind of hard to say where your use ends up being. In fact, can we... Let's boom blast. Yes! Okay, let's angle this so that there's less chance of us missing or hitting something nearby. Less, not, not none. And we should be able to get grenades in as well. Yeah, look at that. Pop. That was actually a really good grenade. That did a hell of a lot of damage. I'm less impressed by that one. Overall, adequate turn. You go, going to do the mind control. Yeah. So the mind control is a pain, but it's not going to stop us finishing what is effectively a done mission. Once we get this done, we'll get our person back. That is not even a question. We, we, we don't need to waste resources on that. Let's just do it like this. There we go. Now we don't lose the soldier because the entire lair collapses. But... Everyone gets 10 skill points because the patch has actually gone through. And this is huge because this means we can actually try and get Kid Afro some goddamn speed. Pandora Lair has been neutralized and abandoned by its inhabitants. The rest of humanity can breathe a sigh of relief. Hooray! Uh, yeah, let's create a new medkit. We still need a hell of a lot of... Um, well, actually, yeah, going there and trading stuff for tech would be worthwhile. Let's do that. We'll send uh, you across. Helios... 
two, which is a little bit injured, can head back to base. The old world is gone, and yet it haunts us. There are those who dream of taking us back to those dark days before the flood, when greed ruled and change seemed impossible. Sins and lies are difficult to kill, but kill them we shall. With the blessing of the dead god, new Jericho will fall and the faithful will rejoice. Awesome. I'm not sure how you kill a sin, but brilliant. I mean, I'm all about new Jericho falling, so yeah, carry on, Anu. Over here, let's uh, do our trading so I don't forget what my plan is. And then we'll uh, send you guys to kind of catch up. Lovely stuff. Well, you're healing up, you're exploring, and uh, that's actually going to be it for this episode, I'm afraid. Uh, thank you very much for coming along. Tiny bit of a drunken lair excursion, but we are pushing towards the Anu ending. Um, obviously, the research labs are going to help us push the Anu research tree further down uh, just to make sure we get that one before we hit the Phoenix Point ending. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, as always, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Phoenix Point. See you soon. <laughs>